Lewis. Hello. We're here at the BBGF in Max living room. Mm. We had one in February. Have you seen the video that we did together in February? Not yet. I haven't released it. No, I don't blame you. Why are we making a new video about your guitars if we haven't even because released the old one? Because next year you can release this one. Yeah, but how you have trust in me having done a good job without have even having seen the first video? I'm very trusting. Very trusting. We made a video about, you know, them resin guitars and all that. And uh, they were cool. Heavy. Heavy as Le Fuc. <laughs> now, Lewis brought more understated yeah. and the, the opposite, because this is wood. That's exactly it. That's the Latin name. What, uh, what, 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 what is this? It's pal Palonia, but it looks like you, you had You had a problem there did, yourself. Yeah. What I tried again? What, what, what is this? Polonia. Polonia. Palovina, I think. In, I don't know. Not Palovina, that's very radioactive. <laughs> it's yes. not radioactive. Um, and as you said, nobody paid attention to this. Then Nick Huber is all talking about Polonia and he actually bought Polonia trees mm -hmm. that are growing. He's talking about it. All of a sudden, everyone's like, well, if the next day is doing it, it's got to be good. All of a sudden, everyone's doing Polonia. There's gotta, it's like a gear street. And try to follow me on this one. Mm -hmm. Nobody's in the whirlpools. That's a sentence I thought I'd never say, but at Gear Speed, nobody was in the whirlpools until I jumped in the whirlpool and all of a sudden everyone moved to the backyard and started going into the whirlpool. It's not because I'm super, super, super mega sexy, which I am, but um, it's somebody's got to be the brave guy to start the thing that nobody wants to talk about or do. And all of a sudden then it becomes a thing. Yeah. So Polonia is a thing. What kind of thing is it? This kind of thing. The very, very light thing. This is extremely lightitious. I just want to highlight the fact that you were just holding that with two fingers. Yes. Because the camera angles didn't quite catch it. Oh, then I'm just going to take this thing here. Very, very, very light. Doesn't even hurt my fingies. And are these, what's, what's the purpose of these? Um, to, to hold and demonstrate. Ah, so it's know. okay if I turn this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now let's show some sounds. <laughs> uh, this, this, this might need some work. Where's the, um, where, where's, where, where's the, ah, you have to turn this up. Yeah, it's like a hidden feature. Is I've, that a new thing? Yeah. Because I haven't seen this on guitars yet. Yeah. Ah, the Polonia doesn't sound too good. Well, we're, we're in the Jimmy Page tuning. quite me flat. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of quality content you come here for. Here's the thing. They're always like, well, you're getting paid for videos and that means you're dishonest. No, but when I'm not getting paid, that's what you're getting. Yeah. Right? No guarantees of quality content. No complaints here. Well, if you don't pay, <laughs> how are you going to complain? Actually, he is paying me with food because he's making delicious food. For everyone, by the way, not just for me. But I did get the cheese, especially for Henning. Oh yeah, proof of cheese. Oh, good cheese, yeah. Because now, of course, those people are thinking, what, he cooked for him candlelight dinner, the two of them were like holding hands. No, everyone communally had candlelight dinner. Yes. Um, Big chunky neck on this. Yeah. Really kind of cool little roundedness there for reasons I don't understand. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know why you Aesthetics. Does. Yeah, because nobody plays guitar like this. Like we don't play, we, the angle goes like this, not like, but when you do this, it looks like a modern super high access guitar. Absolutely. So everyone's buying into the bullshit. Um, fine. Yeah. I love the little roundedness that you have here. Thank you. Very. Sexy lines. Um, it has pickups. Yep. Ah, Adam, remember why you said where's the where's the sound? 
it's actually screwed all the way into the guitar. That's where the sound is. Uh. Do you see how far down these pickups are? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you doing this deliberately? No, it's fine. You should have heard it to the angle. This is too far. You're taking it too far. I like the understatedness of it. Oh, it's very understated. It's like, where is it? Okay, so this is how you like it. Yeah. Low output. Yeah. I'm thinking you had no choice, no choice whatsoever, other than to say, yeah, that's how you like it, because the other option would have been you forgot to, to wind your, the pickups up. To, to wind the pickups yeah. up. Which of course would make you look like a complete dumbass, yeah. which you're not. No. So therefore, it's a choice. <laughs> Twice the amount of notes than other guitars. Yes, that's uh, that's part of it. Cool. <laughs> so um, I love it. I love that it's light. I love that it's green. Uh, I love the chunky neck. I love the small headstock. Goto tuners. I don't love that it doesn't have locking tuners because it's just not good. Um, it should. Any modern guitar should have locking tuners. And unless you Fender, why don't you have locking tuners? Oh, keep the cost down keep these at a price point. You can have them as an option. Ah, oh, cheapskate. Um, as an option, you can also get the pickups to a level where they actually output something. Nope, that's not an option. Oh, that's a fuck you, that's not gonna happen kind of a thing. <laughs> fuck you, customer. I'm not selling you this guitar. If I come to your house and you took the pickups up, I'm taking it back home. Yeah. That's in the that's, contract. That is in, that is in the contract. You also make them in non-green. Yes. Also relatively light, but not palo -balo -balo. Not palabla blah blah. Um, swamp blah 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 blah. Swamp blah blah uh, with hip shotties and lockies from the hip shotties. All this, but we're not talking about this. Uh, we're also, ah, uh, oh, you you inserted it from the back. I I like going in from the back. Nice. Yeah. Who doesn't? It's um it's sleeker. There's something looks a little bit more luxury about it. A little bit more like Tausch. Yes. Yes. Is that where you got the idea? No, Marcioni was where I got the ah. idea. Do you know how Tausch does it? Uh, no. Do you want to know how Tausch does it? Would they mind you saying on camera? Oh, they told they told me in the video. Oh, okay. So let's talk about this. It's actually really interesting. So this kind of pickup mounting, which is very, very beautiful. Do we have a pickup mounting camera up there? Thank you. Um, you don't have a ring. You don't have the cavities right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks ultra sleek. So Lewis had to go in from the back to do this, which is these are really beautiful. Um, what is this for? That's the jack socket. That's the jack. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but obviously that's, that's the easy way to do it. Yeah. So on this, it would have been difficult because it doesn't have a top. But if you have a nice little top on it, what he does is imagine the top is off. Mm -hmm. He routes off a cavity right here on one side, then puts the top on, and then moves the pickup into the cavity, moves it back, so of course routes off here too, 
puts the glues the top on, moves the pickup in there, moves it back, probably with magnets or spe special tools. How he does the springs, I have no idea. That's, that's something where you're going to have to need to peek behind the curtain because that, even in this setup, that is incredibly fiddly. And I, I, you, you can hold the pickup. Now, now his thing. cavity is exactly this big. So he, he shoves it in, and it, it makes sense that he's got a little cave down here. And he shoves it into that cave. And then wiggles it back. Um, so I understand that. Wiggles it back, pulls it up. But how does he get the springs underneath? That, no idea. Because he can't go and insert it no. from the side. Like, no. It's got, I have no idea. But I'd love to see that because it's such, his guitars are such an elegant, yeah. just like this. There's like as little as he can have on a guitar. Yeah. But of course, we're not talking about Tausch. We're just you know, exchanging ideas here. Uh, there's also a guitar behind me from a friend. But fuck him. We're not talking about that. <laughs> no. Because apparently it's a signature model that he has for listen. LT guitars, really cool. Look how cool I am, Mr. Fuge. <laughs> yeah, it's there. We're not talking about it. <laughs> so then we've got instructions here that you need to be a Nobel laureate to understand <laughs> because what the actual, uh, what the actual fuckola, huh? <laughs> what, what the, and there's two pages. So here's what we're gonna do. Get rid of that. We're looking at the Todpa and the Todpa is nice and it is neon green. And the Todpa has, a GC led to for ne. So this is different clipping things. It's got a mini tube inside. Yep. So it's a tube driven driver. But we got all these different clipping options, which in reality usually sound very similar. Whenever Walrus or someone else does that, it's like I click around like, okay, yeah, a little bit more compression, a little less. Nobody gives a shit in a context. Uh, but it's nice for some nerdy builder. Okay. So you got these, you got level and gain and filter. Is it a high, f high frequency roll off? Yes. Okay. <laughs> 6 dB, 12 dB, best to bipper 80, load it's 4,700, cut band pass or 200. And these are okay. These are switches. Yes. Okay. So I figured it out. It's got a, a knob dial in the middle for clipping and switches and something with a tube inside and it's a Todd put. Yeah, that completed it. So, wish we could kind of get a little bit more output from this guitar, no. but nope. <laughs> I'm on it. I got it. We're going into the wood row, which I now can dial back a bit. This is a really hard pot. I mean, I, how, I, many, how many people have told you that your pot's really hard? Well, I heard you like a hard pot. Oh, okay, this is the bass line here. Different switchy. LED is the thing in laps. One more than one. And it's two less than four. 
that is fully correct. There's also three in the middle. <laughs> This is the before mentioned, aforementioned four. Yes. And this is the end for no number at all. None. None. Zero. <laughs> Interestingly, what uh, most people didn't realize is that none is also, by pure coincidence, the difference I heard between all these different positions. <laughs> Very likely different on different game settings, different on different switchy settings. There's a lot you can do with this pedal. And also it might really help if you had a guitar where the pickup was a little bit higher, but you cannot purchase Not that from LT guitars. Not here. Not happening. <laughs> oh, G minor. filters from the very left to the very right on the knob. So it's um, cool. At the minute, it sounds like you're fully right or as close to it. I've never been fully right in my life about anything. <laughs> I want this fucking Todd put, okay? <laughs> Now it filters. Let's keep that puppy open. Um. It filters at 200 and it's lower on the bass. I get it. So if we, let's say, play like a song, uh, what song could we play? Oh, let's... That's really thick now. Yeah. And, um... They can also do that. Yeah. So obviously lots of interactions happening with the switches and the turnies and 
Why am I going through this so quickly without actually Lewis explaining to me what's on these pages? Because this is a one hour video if I actually looked at this in depth. Yeah. But this is a preview. Here's the Todd Purr by Brilliant. And if you like generally what you're hearing, you know, get yourself one, fiddle with the bits, read the instructions. Um, how much is the Todd Purr? It's £199. In real people money, nobody knows what that is, but not a lot probably. No, no. It's, it, uh, there are other things like without, with less stuff around that price. So, you know, with less clicky clickies. And oh, yeah, yeah. Filter no, it's got filthy filters and clicky clickies and turny turnies and LEDs and twos and fours and ends. Um, a lot in there. A Todd Pay in there. <sighs> <laughs> Check out Brilliant online and through the link that we provide below. Um, if you want guitars where under no circumstances you're allowed to touch, touch the pickup height, check out LT Guitars. I saw the diamond wipe, Adam Steely Lee. I saw it. <laughs> I recognized it. It's in my book. <laughs> Your participation in 42 Gear Street is in jeopardy now. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, okay, fine. He has control over us. He's in charge. Good then. You are back in at 40 Gear Street. Uh, thanks a billion times for organizing all of this. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mike, for letting, uh, let, let, letting us hang and sleep in your house. Thanks, Adam, for switching. And uh, thanks to all the uh, builders that sent stuff and came by and hung out. Thanks to Mike's uh, really, really amazing family and his wife, Sarah, for feeding us, making us breakfast and, you know, just putting up with us. Uh, links below to this man and the brilliant man, master, the brilliant, 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 Yes. Wow. The brilliant master, making copies. Sting. <laughs> Der Stingelhofer. <laughs> Making copies, the McStingster, Stingatola, Sting, Sting a ling a ding 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 dong dong, Sting. That's what our American friends. Uh, animals at the end. Mm -hmm.